Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. Here we have activity 10.4, question number 4. The question says that a car's engine management system uses three sensors, A, B and C. The data from these sensors forms the input to the logic circuit when the output X from the logic circuit is 1, a signal is sent to the warning light on the dashboard of the car. The following table describes the conditions being monitored. Now look at this table. In this table, you have given three parameters. The first one is E, then P, and then W. E is your exhaust temperature, P is your oil pressure, and W is your water temperature. And each of these parameters can have two values. 0 or 1, 0 or 1, 0 or 1. And these values have certain meanings. If E is 0, it means the exhaust temperature is greater than 400 degrees centigrade. If E is 1, the temperature is less than equals to 400. For P, the oil pressure, if it is 0, the pressure is less than equals to 10. If it is 1, the pressure is greater than 10. Water temperature, if W is 0, then the water temperature is less than equals to 110. Otherwise, it is greater than 110. So, this is the table that is going to help you in order to make the, the in order to fill the truth table, make the logic expression and also do the logic circuit. So, remember one thing here that if your parameters have 0, have a value 0, then you will be writing it with not, like not E. For 1, it will be E. For 0, it will become not P. Otherwise, it is P. And for water temperature, it is not W for 0 and W for 1. Now, look it down. The output X will generate a value of 1 if... Look at these three conditions. If any one, it's written either or or. It means any one of these conditions needs to be one to make your output one. So the conditions are pretty simple. We will read it and we will make it in a more simple form later on. Let's see what you have to produce. So the first thing you have to produce is the truth table. Okay, next thing, a logic expression and the very last thing is the logic circuit. Okay, so let me just quickly convert all of these given conditions into a simple form. So the first thing is for the value of x to be 1. Let me write down the first condition. Remember that any one of these conditions needs to be true to make your output true. Since it is written either or or between them. So the first thing you have is exhaust temperature greater than 400 degrees centigrade. Let's quickly find out in the table. If your exhaust temperature is greater than 400, it means that E is 0. So write down not E here. Then there is an AND operation, write down AND as it is. Along with this, you have to see the oil pressure. It needs to be greater than 10, which means that it must have a value 1. So write down P as it is. Next, you have oil pressure less than equals to 10, which is over here. It means that P is 0. So write down not P for the second condition. Along with that, there is another condition attached with end operation, that is water temperature greater than 110. If you see water temperature greater than 110 means W is 1. So write down W as it is. Third is oil pressure greater than 10, which means P is 1. So write down P as it is. Along with that, you have end. Write down end. And the other condition is water temperature needs to be greater than 110. So it is again 1. So write down W as it is. These are the three conditions that if any one of them becomes 1, the output will be 1. Now, first of all, you have to produce a truth table. So let me just write down here. Let's just do it here. The truth table. I have already formed the truth table 
on MS Excel. Let me quickly share it with you. Truth table will be formed keeping in mind all of these three conditions. Okay, so this is the truth table. First three columns are your input parameters. E, exhaust temperature, P, oil pressure, W is water temperature. Then I have written not E and not P, two columns. Why? Because keeping in mind these three conditions, two of these conditions are being inverted. Not E and not P. So I have made columns for that. Next, I have made the columns for three conditions that you have to monitor. Not E and P, not P and W, P and W. And the final result will be calculated or will be 1 if any one of these conditions will become 1. So, let's quickly fill the table. For three parameters, you have eight binary combi combinations. Let's start with W. It will be 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Then two zeros, two ones. Two zeros, two ones. For E, it is four zeros, four ones. We are done with eight different combinations for the input parameters. Okay, so what I will do, I will fill not E and not P first. Not E is the inversion of all the values of E. So, if it is 0, 0, 0, 0, I will make it 1, 1, 1, 1. And then 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, I have not P. That is the inversion of P. So, it will be double 1, double 0, double 1, double 0. Next, you have to calculate all of these three conditions. The first one is not E and P. It means consider not E and p and you have to do the binary multiplication between them since it's an and operation 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 let, let's move towards not P and W. For this, you have to consider not P and W and do the binary multiplication between them. So, 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. Then 0 into 0 is 0. Then 1 into 0 is 0. Then 0 into 1 is 0. Then 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into 0 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0. Next calculate P and W. For that you have P and you have W and let's do AND operation between them. 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1 is 1. Okay, so for output, you have to see these three columns and the result will be 1 if any one of these columns has a value 1 or any one of these conditions is true. 0, 0, 0 means 0. 0, 1, 0 is 1. Since the second condition is true, 1, 0, 0 is also 1. Since not E and P is true, next is also 1. Since two of these conditions are true, then 0, 0, 0, then 0, 1, 0 means 1. Then 0, 0, 0 is 0. Then 0, 0, 1 is P and W is 1 here. So make it 1. So keep in mind that in the question, if any one of these conditions are true, then the output will be true. This is how you have to fill the truth table. Now moving towards the second part that is your logic expression. For the logic expression, I am again going to use the three conditions over here. These are very, very important. So let me consider these conditions here and let's start working for the logic circuit. Okay, so here we go for logic expression, you have to consider the same three conditions and remember that if it is said that these conditions 
if any one of these conditions are true then your output will be true so it means that you have to put an or operation between all of them so that x equals to x is your output x equals to first you have to see not e and p and p oh a and d and p this is your first condition or there is another that is not p and w then there is another or why or because it is already mentioned in your question why i am putting or into these three conditions because look at your question here the question says that either this needs to be true or this or this. So because of this either or or, we are putting or between these three conditions in my logic expression. So this is how you have to make the logic expression for the second part. Now the third part is your logic circuit. And for the logic circuit, I am going to use the same logic expression. Okay, for the logic circuit, what you have to do, you have to make the intermediate circuits for each of these brackets or these conditions that needs to be true for X to be one. So the first is not E and P. The spelling is wrong here. Let me write down D. Not E and P means that you have an input line for E and you have another input line for P. But in your expression, E is written with not, so we will pass it through an inverter. Now, we will get not E. Okay. Both of these inputs are going to end, so that you will have not E and P. We are done with the first condition. And P. The second says that not P and W. So let's do for that. Not P means that take P and invert its value since P is with a not. So it's not P. And the third input line is W that is your water temperature. So we will pass both of these inputs through another end gate. Okay. Here we go. This line gives us not P and W. And the third is very simple. That is P and W. So we will take an input line P. And we will take another input line W. Okay. Here we go. Then we will be passing both of them through a third AND gate. So it becomes P and W. Now, there are two ways to proceed with this logic circuit. Either you can pass all of these three inputs to a three input OR gate. Since there is an OR operation between them as stated in your question. Either this is this can be done, it's a three input OR gate. Or if it is mentioned in your question that you are not supposed to use three input gate, you are only using two input gates. So for that reason, what you can do, you can OR these three lines in two stages. First, you will do OR operation between not E and P and not P and W, first two inputs. There will be an OR in this second way, what you will be doing, you will be using two OR gates. So here, first you will do an OR operation between the first two input intermediate lines, and the result is going to be OR with the third one. So both of these ways are going to give you the same result. Here you are just doing OR in two steps, whereas in three input OR gate, it is all done at in one step only. So this is because in your syllabus, you are only learning 
two input OR gates. That's why you are following this method of finding out your output X. So it's better to follow this method. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I have covered all of these three parts. Logic circuit I created, logic expression I did, and the first thing was the log was the truth table that I have filled for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have if you have any question, you can comment below. And let's uh, let's do question number five in the next video. Stay tuned. Stay uh, connected. Bye bye.